What did you think of the uh, debate here this evening? I, I'm an Iranian Jew, and I came into this debate with a predisposition. I came a little bit biased, thinking that under all conditions, nothing can change my mind and make me support the deal. After hearing the arguments that were made, I realized that I may have been gravely wrong. I realized that Iran has really changed its act. They've become an honest and trustworthy country. The country that persecuted my family and kicked us out actually has become a country that welcomes Jews, welcomes minorities. Their human rights record has dramatically improved. Their record on women, on minorities, their stance on terrorism has changed. They've gone from becoming a sponsor of terrorism to becoming actually the country that has most strongly embraced counter-terror work. In fact, look at their track record with ISIS. They're the ones who are fighting ISIS more than we are. How can we not support Iran and its military development? Because by doing so, we're actually fighting ISIS, who is an even bigger enemy to all of us. When I look at Israel, Iran has historically not supported Israel, has said things like death to Israel. Why they'll still say it now, after listening to this debate, it seems more like they're saying that for internal political reasons. They're doing it to gain the votes of the people within the country, but they don't really mean it anymore. They wouldn't have sat down with John Kerry and held his hand and laughed over meals. They wouldn't have traveled to Austria so many times. They wouldn't have produced this list of people who are on the no-fly lists and who are on the sanctions list and argued each and one of them to be removed from those lists and given up so much. Now, instead of making a nuclear bomb today, they're going to have to wait 10 young years to destroy Israel and America. That's a long time. Um, why do you suppose that they won't let the uh, UN uh, uh, inspect their parts in the military uh, uh, nuclear development? Well, they are letting the UN inspect. They're letting the UN inspect by looking at the photos and videos that they produ produce, including the soil samples and other environmental samples to prove that they're not making nuclear weapons in those areas. So they are letting the UN inspect, but they're actually helping the UN. They're saving the UN a lot of money. and making it such that instead of forcing the UN to send hundreds of inspectors at great expense and put them up in hotels and feed them, they're going to handle it themselves, saving the UN a lot of money and therefore putting less pressure on the international community to have to subsidize this effort. Why do you suppose that they've hidden so many things before and yet this, uh, this deal is trusting them uh, to completely change their spots? Well, clearly those sanctions had an effect, which is why we now need to let go of those sanctions. After all these years, they realized we can't continue living like this, having all sorts of sanctions under us, not being able to buy food, medicine, internet technology, and other things. They realized we want to enter the League of Nations, the modern era of, of, of countries, and they're playing ball. And I think they've been pressured into, into complying, and they're going to remain uh, a willful participant in this deal, I'm convinced.